up a few packages that I got from Amazon all right so the first thing that we got what is this what is this also oh, I got my husband a baseball hat over the door rack because his hats the way he got his hats organized or the way he got I won't even say they organized, but the way he got them in his closet. I don't like the way that they look in there. So I bought him this hat rack. And I'll probably show you guys how I put it up in a minute. But I got him a hat rack for his hats to get a little bit more organized with his hats. So I also got this salt and pepper shaker. Y'all, I've been ordering stuff like all week long, especially like late nights when I'm laying in the bed, trying to fall asleep. Yeah, that's what this these orders are about because I've got like a lot more stuff coming. But I ordered this salt and pepper meal shake. And it's like you put the pepper in here and the salt, and when you hold it down, you turn, you turn the nozzle to, uh, tell it what type of grade you want as far as the salt and the pepper and then you just hold it down and gravity basically gravity basically puts the salt and pepper over your food so I'll show I'll probably open this up later in the vlog I did order some black peppercorns I had I did order the salt but the salt hadn't come in yet I ordered some um, Himalayan salt the thick kind y'all know like the, the crunch the big chunks and stuff so I bought that to go in here and then I bought the black pepper as well to go in there. So we'll get some crushed, um, finely grated salt and pepper. I'm trying to be fancy a little bit, y'all. Trying to be a little fancy. But I'll open this up a little bit later. And then I have been seeing this cute little knife set. I don't have much counter spot, countertop spots in my kitchen because my kitchen is very miniature, very small. So I don't have a lot of counter space, but I'm going to figure out exactly what I'm going to do with it. But I got this pretty knife set from Amazon. It's got the acrylic case and the knife or whatever. So I picked that up and I just got a notification as well that I got another order in my mailbox, but I don't feel like going to the mailbox right this second. So I'll show you guys what else I got in the mailbox later in the vlog um yeah guys so that's everything that i was on my front porch oh i did pick up these y'all when i say these candles smell so good they smell so good they're now they are bright they are by um mainstays so they're not like a bath and body works candle i think they were like seven or eight dollars for for one so i just purchased two of these just to kind of get the fall aroma in the house or whatever and i have not even lit these candles yet y'all they have not been lit yet, but when I walk in the house, I smell these candles. They smell so good. So this first one is called Warm Fall Leaves. Um, that's what this one looks like. And it, it smells like fall. It smells like autumn. It smells... Oh, it's real, just real... I can't explain it. I'm not really good at explaining scents and aromas and stuff like that, y'all. But when I say it smells really good, it says warm fall leaves and it gives the aroma of its autumn and its fall outside. Y'all look. Y'all smell it. Don't that thing smell good? Oh my God, girl. It smells delicious. It smells divine, okay? 
And then I also picked up this one. This one is called Farm, excuse me, Fall Farmhouse. Um, this one smells divine as well. Mm, and it's another very warm, inviting fragrance. And it smells like yet fall and autumn. And y'all, smell that one. It smells good, don't it? I know, girl. It's just something about the aroma when you walk in the house. It's just, it just gives you, it just makes you feel all warm and cozy and just all fuzzy inside. Like my cardigan I got on right now. But anyways, y'all, so that ain't, and that's what I've got going on right now. I ain't doing too much anything. I did buy some caramel um, apple dipping kit. I think I'm going to probably do that tomorrow. I don't know. It depends on how I feel later on today. I might do the dipping kit. I mean, it's been sitting on my counter since the other day, since I went to Trader Joe's when I showed y'all earlier in the vlog. So I got this little kit right here. Um, and my apples are sitting on the counter. I might need to go ahead and do this. I don't know. Depending on how I feel later on today or tomorrow, I might do that. I might do it tomorrow because my son's football game got moved up. Um, they normally play on Friday nights. Varsity plays on Friday nights and then JB plays on Thursday nights. But everybody's game got moved up because of the Hurricane Ian that's occurring. And um, so that's, the, yeah, so today is Thursday. I don't know if I said that already. But yeah, so today's Thursday. So the varsity game is tonight. So tomorrow might be a better time because I won't have anything to do in the evening time. So I think I might do my caramel apples tomorrow. But y'all, y'all will see all that because it's going to be in this weekly vlog. Okay. So yeah, that's it for right now. If anything interesting happened between now and later, I'll definitely turn y'all back on. But I am so excited about my new knives. Y'all, you know how you get, you know you're getting old. You know you're getting old. Dur, not old, but older, when you get excited about household items. I get excited about vacuum cleaners, brooms, mops, cleaning supplies, anything household related, I get excited about. That's how you know you're growing up, okay? You're you're adulting. Adulting is happening for real around here because I get excited about a bunch of house stuff. But anyway, I ain't talking about nothing too much or anything. I'm just jaw jacking right now. So I'm going to call y'all back a little bit later. Hey, guys. Happy Saturday or happy Friday. Y'all know, know I don't never know the days of the week. But anyways, I'm in the parking lot in Target right now. Um, I need a few. Oh, you're about to fall. It's only a few things that I actually need out of here. Um, I said I wanted to do, um, like some fall shopping, but I've been doing a lot of fall shopping, like for house stuff, um, and for my children and for my husband or whatever, but I really don't need anything, but I see a lot of cute little pieces and stuff that people are getting that's online, that's at Target. So while I was in the area, I said, I'm going to just stop by Target. And while I'm here picking up a few essentials that I need for the house, I'm going to go in here and also see if they have some of those cute little pieces that I see um, that people are ranting and raving about. Um, I do need a few hygiene products as well. So while I'm in here, I'm going to get that. Um, and yeah, guys, so that's what I'm about to do right now. Um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else that I said I wanted to talk to you guys about? If it is, if I can think of it, I'll come back on the, on, on the, um, I'll call y'all back if I can think of it. I'm just sitting here in the parking lot right now, like the storm. Oh, so I'm gonna give y'all an update. So the storm, we did get impacted by the storm, but it wasn't bad. Um, we did lose power for about about three or four hours um but we were prepared you know what i'm saying so we you know made up made out every made out okay um other than just losing power but we were fine um uh, we made sure that all the devices and everything was charged and loaded and the candles and stuff like that and i had extra um extra stuff for the kids you know what i'm saying just in case if they needed anything so we were very prepared for the storm and it didn't hit as, as as bad as we thought it was but just looking around looking at the remnant of the storm um this area right here which i'm like in raleigh or whatever raleigh did hit pretty bad um when i was coming over here i noticed that a few lights were still out 
um but that's expected as far as the storm is concerned and i see a lot of debris and stuff around here um so yeah so it, the the storm didn't impact us as bad um so thank god for that you know what i'm saying we're we're okay we're safe or whatever but um yeah so let me go in here and get this little target run going and then um I don't know what else I got to do today, but whatever I decide to do, I'm going to call y'all. Y'all going to be on the line with me because y'all rolling with love. This version, we beat the final perfection in the rest of the world. show you guys really quick what I got from Tarjay um this is probably gonna be like a fall vlog because everything that I got was centered around fall obviously but anyways I picked up the pumpkin spice latte creamer just the Starbucks brand so I got a thing of creamer I picked up some pumpkin spice flavored Oreos hopefully this will taste like something I got some Chobani coffee and this is the da, 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 dark roast yeah I guess it's considered dark roast it's a Arabic Arabica 
How you say that, Byron? A R A B I C A. Arabica, Arabica, Arabica. I don't know y'all. Arabica. Okay, it's Arabica coffee, Liberty and cold brew for all. But yeah, I got a thing of that. Picked up these dots pretzels. I was introduced to these pretzels, y'all, when I went to Minnesota earlier in the year when me and my girlfriend took the girl trip and they had the, um, it was another season type of pretzels. It wasn't a honey mustard kind, uh, but they've got like two or three flavors and these are like super good, quick little, nice little snack. So I got a bag of these and this is the honey mustard kind, but the original kind is, um, I'll put it on the screen somewhere over here so you guys can see the actual um, original seasoning bag when I say it is so good it's pretzels but it's like I got like a really nice uh, flavoring to them like a good seasoning then I also got some caramel apple flavored caramel corn and these have apple slices in them or on them with the popcorn so I got a thing of that I got this dish daddy I, I don't know who vlog it was I saw the other day that had this but somebody went and bought huh Oh, I got this Scrub Daddy. Uh, yeah, is this the Scrub Daddy? Yeah, this is the Dish Daddy, but this is the one that's got the uh, part where you can put the dish soap in it, and it's real heavy duty too. But you just unscrew it, push the dish detergent in there, and then of course you screw it back on like so, and then the suds will come out. And I actually like these. Um, I'm excited to use this. I don't know if I'm gonna use this in the kitchen or if I'm gonna use it upstairs in for my um, for my tub. I don't know yet, but. I was very excited that I saw that my local Target had it. So I got that. Also got some Power Wash dish cool. dish spray. You sent her upstairs. <laughs> got some Power Wash Dawn dish detergent spray away. I love that. I also picked up this ginger limeade. It's by Calafia Farms. It's a ginger limeade. Y'all, I ain't never tried this before. Hey, have you, you, we ain't tried this before, have we? But I got to think of that. I also bought Be Smooth some, I did buy it for you anyway. You know Buffalo Trace is, is bourbon? It's a bourbon soap? Yeah, it's bourbon. Well, yeah, it's a big American bourbon soap, oak barrel scent. I'm going to get some Buffalo Trace for Christmas for that. It's by Duke Cannon, so I got him a thing of soap. Um, Then I got a... Uh, Another big thing of soap right here for the guys. I got some flushable wipes, cotton nail. I've heard great things about these, baby, so y'all can use them too. Mm. You ain't want to use them. Wet wipes. <laughs> these are not wet wipes. These Man are flushable don't. wipes. Men don't use wet wipes. Men don't use them. <laughs> so you mean to tell me you won't use these? Mm. Might be wipe my hands. Wipe your hands, oh, okay. And I also got, cause my oldest, he suffers from allergies real bad, you guys. So I got him a neti pot. Neti pot. I've seen people talk about the neti pot before. The one that I was originally wanting to get him was like a hundred dollars. I'm like, Ugh, I don't know if I want to drop a whole hundred dollars on a nas a, a nasal machine just yet. So I'm gonna try. Hopefully this will work. But he's always congested. He's always congested. My, my dog gonna be y'all. The dog gonna be and Byron trying to set her upstairs. <laughs> she, she, she can't help herself. She loves me so much. She can't help it be up under me, y'all. But anyway, so I'm I'm gonna let y'all know how this neti pot work. My son, his his allergies is like really really bad, and his he's always stuck stuffy and stopped up. So hopefully this will work. Um, I got some body scrub by T T. Ugh, ugh. Tree Hut Tahitian Vanilla Bean. I got this. I think I saw Alexis Rebecca about this. This is like appropriate for fall. And I smelt it and it is really warm and inviting. So I got this body scrub. And I'm going to have Be Smooth try this on you. We're going to try this together. This body scrub. That's what you want to put on it. Yeah. It's a Shea Sugar Scrub. So we're going to try this. Um, I got some more earrings because the ones I got finally just starting to turn colors, but these went up with $7.99, so I got a thing of earrings. Can y'all see that? Earrings, and then I also got a hair clip. 
They had some other cute little clips, but I got this one because I thought this one would be cute for the occasion. And oh, y'all know I was talking about the tights. My, I always get my tights around this time, so I got two pair of tights. These are by the uh, New Day. These are the fleece line leggings, seamless, high waisted, so they go all the way up. So when I say they go all the way up, they go up, and they start right around my bust right here, and they like basically suck my gut in real good, nice and tight. So I got a black pair and I got the gray pair. The gray pair that I have finally started. I saw a hole the other day, so it's time for me to get rid of those and start rotating these. So you can never have enough tights. Y'all know tights is tights is tight. It's tight season. And then a seat. <laughs> we needed a seat, so we got another toilet seat. I hope this the one work, babe. You gonna see if it works? What you mean if it works? I thought you said we need to get a. Okay. So yeah, I got a toilet seat. Let me see your new shoes. You wanna show the vlog your new shoes? Oh, and well, I got some washing powders too, but y'all don't care. Y'all know what washing powders look like. Your what? Oh God, I knew it was something else. I went, cause I was at the front and then I went back to get this, this juice. And when I went back up the front, I went back in the front and forgot the beer. But Be Smooth went and bought some shoes, y'all. Y'all think I be shopping. My husband likes to shop, too. He, I just don't never show y'all what he get. And I don't put it on the vlog a lot of the stuff, a lot of the stuff that he buys and stuff. But he got a shopping addiction just like I do. But he bought these New Balances. What these is? 574. 574s, I guess. That's what you want to call them. So he, this, this, this is cute. I like this color. What you gonna wear it with? It's appropriate for the fall. Mm -hmm. And I got them on sale. Oh, they was on sale? Super sale. Oh, okay. So, yep. So, he got a pair of sneakers. Huh? What do you say? I got to do what? You ready to go? All right. I got an Amazon package, too, y'all. Let me see what this Amazon and my package, yeah, I got it right here. Did y'all tell, did you tell them to come get their, um, their dog? Oh, TJ already gone? Yeah, I said he was gone. Oops. I hope it, ain't, hope it ain't broke. It ain't broke that quick though, is it? Okay. So, earlier in the vlog, you guys. Lotto, come here. She was like, uh-uh, you mean to me. I ain't coming over there to you. <laughs> so early in the vlog, you guys, I showed y'all when I bought that electric um salt and pepper shaker. So I had to order some um black peppercorn, some black pepper, and some salt to go in the salt pepper shaker. So my salt family came in. It's the Himalayan salt or whatever. So I'll show y'all later in the vlog how the salt and pepper thing come out. And my battery is blinking. And let me hurry up. And I also purchased a pack of these clear plastic sippy cups. So me and Beast Move are gonna start drinking our coffees in the morning time. So um, this is one with the sippy cup dome lid right here. So they got the cups and the lids. It's the sip through strawless lid. So y'all know if you want the vibe of Starbucks but don't wanna spend the Starbucks coins or the Dunkin' Donuts cup, the spend the money at this price you can also always make your own coffee at home have the so the whole the whole vibe it's, it, it will be a vibe okay in your own house so i picked up a pack of these cups and the lids and yeah guys so that's all i got from Target today and i'm gonna call y'all back later because my light is blinking and be smooth ready to go he ready to get in the streets a little bit a little something something so i'll call y'all back So y'all, I'm anxious to see how this smell. So I'm about to open it up and smell it with y'all. Byron said it smell real good, so we gonna see. Ooh, it, it's really pretty. And look at the bar. This is soap now. When I say, give me the notes to this, cause this smells super good. You might not make it out the house in the morning time if you were just going out to work. It's a bourbon barrel. Shoot. This thing smells so... It says Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. So this is like a bourbon soap. Yeah, that's Buffalo Church's bourbon. Y'all look at this. This is soap now. Look at this. 
Isn't that pretty? God, it's a pretty soap. So, if y'all looking for your man a real pretty, nice, a, pr a pretty soap. <laughs> if y'all looking for your man, your husband, or wife, if y'all like, some of us women like manly things, because I know I like manly fragrances. If y'all looking for a really nice masculine smell, this was at Target. This was $7.99 for one bar. It's by the brand Duke Cannon Supply Company, and it's Buffalo Trace. When I say it smells so, oh, God, it smells good. Mm. And you say you're going to pair this with that Joe Malone? Mm -hmm. Too tough. Can't, can't mess with you. Can't mess with you. All right, you ready, hun? Mm-hmm.